tough dough. Hello there. Hi, Mr. Zoe. Hi, Zach. Hi, Zoo. Oh, nice car. Thanks. Do you want to prove of it? Before you do that, Zach has a favour to ask you. A favour? I've got some homework. That's not homework. That's clay dough. No, it's homework. I'm supposed to make something with it. Well, I can help you with that. I love clay dough. Let's go. To my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your help, Zoo. I'll be back later this afternoon, OK? See you later, Mr Zoe. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Zach. How are you? Today. Zoo, why is Zach in such a hurry? I said I would help him with his homework. That's good of you, Bizu. Tell you what. I'll make you some biscuits. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Can I choose the shapes? Go ahead. Um... Uh, here. <laughs> Moon and star it is. They're my favourite. <laughs> right. I'll get on with the biscuits, and you get on with Zach's homework. Wow! <laughs> you are good at modelling. Thanks! Make something else. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be your homework. Oh, I've got to make a model of my favourite thing. So, what is your favourite thing? Uh, pirates? <laughs> pirates? Yeah, let's make a pirate ship. Mm, that might be a bit tricky. Well, I like apple pies too. <laughs> that sounds much easier. Maybe we can make both. <laughs> <gasps> oh, but I really like cats as well. So, you want a cat eating an apple pie on a pirate ship? <laughs> That'd be brilliant! Zach, I was joking! Oh, how about a spaceship? I love spaceships! <laughs> Zach, you haven't got enough clay dough for all that. We need to make just one thing. Your favourite thing, right? Oh, oh, yes. Um. A car! <gasps> a car? Good idea. That shouldn't be too hard. Here, you start. I thought you were going to help me. I am, but you've got to make it. <laughs> Looks like Pock wants to help you too. <laughs> <laughs> Potato? Can you show me how to do it, please? Uh, oh, all right. <gasps> Can you make another one? <laughs> I've shown you how, so now you make the rest. It's your homework. Okay, I'll try. Uh... That was really good. Now you just need two more. Okay. Hmm. Now put them on the car. <laughs> you need 
to squish them down a bit harder. Not quite as hard as that. Potatoes. <laughs> yes, it does look a bit like a potato. Mm, maybe you need something a bit better than a potato for your homework. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. Let's go outside and play with your car instead. After you've done your homework, Zach. This homework's too hard. Come on, there must be something. I can't make up your mind for you. Hello. Would some biscuits help with the homework? Thanks, Mum. Oh, yes, thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, these are great. So, they might be your favourite thing? Well, they're really nice, but mm, maybe I'll go and see if Mum has any good ideas. So, can I go and play outside with your car? Yes, all right, but keep thinking. We've still got to do your homework. Well, Zach's a bit younger than you, so he's not as good at modelling as you are. Maybe you should try and find something easy for him to make. OK, but what if he only likes things like pirate ships, spaceships, cats eating pies and stuff? <laughs> Which one is his favourite? No, oh, I don't know. Well, you need to find that out first. I hope his favourite thing's easy to make. You know what Grandpa says? All the best things are simple. Oh, can I borrow some of these, Mum? Have you had an idea, Bizu? I think so. Well, good luck with them. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Here, pick one, Zach. What are these? Biscuit cutters. They'll make modelling easier. Come on, try one. The crab. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. You didn't tell me you liked crabs. But they are funny, aren't they? Crab, 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 crab. <laughs> Greetings, I am a giant pirate crab. I come from outer space. I like apple pies. And hello, little bird. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, I'm glad we finally found something, Zach. For my homework? Oh, yes. Are you sure crabs are your favourite things? Uh, well, crabs are all right, I suppose. Oh, we don't have time to make anything else now. I like crabs, I really do. Look. Cluck, 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 cluck. I just hope your teacher's happy with your homework. Hello there. I'm back. Hello, Mr. Zoe. We're coming. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> so, how's the homework coming along? Well, I tried to help Zach, but I don't think I was very good. You were great. No, I wasn't. I helped you make something that isn't your favourite thing. So, you still haven't done your homework. Oh, yes, I have. What's that? I know you like potatoes, but... It's not a potato, Dad. It's my favourite thing. I've decided what it is. My favourite thing is when I make people smile. So I've made a smile, see? Oh. 
That's my favourite thing too. Well done, Zack. And what do you think, Zoo? I think it's brilliant. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you, Zoo. Thank you. Anytime, Zack. I'm just glad I could help. Bye-bye, Zoo. Bye, Zack. <laughs> Zinnia. We did sums at school today, and I'm really good at them. Three plus three makes... Um... Six. Oh, dear. It looks as if someone's had a bad day at school. What's the matter, Zoo? Miss Mora's poorly, so we've got a new teacher while she's away. And I got a bit bored, so I yawned a bit too loud, and the new teacher told me off. Yes! Well, yawning isn't very polite. I couldn't help it. Did you apologise? Yes, Grandma. But if his class wasn't so boring, then it wouldn't have happened. With Miss Samora, I never yawn. I'm sure your new teacher's doing his best, Zoo. It's not easy keeping you youngsters interested in learning all day long. How hard can it be? I could do it. I'd be a really good teacher. I'll show you. <gasps> I'll be a teacher right now. Wow, brilliant. Can I be in your class, Sue? I'll get top marks for everything. Of course you can, Zinnia. Can I play as well, Zoo? It's not really a game, Zach. I'm going to be a proper teacher. I'll be good, I promise. Now, Zoo, a teacher doesn't choose who he teaches. Tell you what, I think I'd like to be in your class too. All right, I'll teach all of you. <laughs> so, let's set up the classroom. In the meantime, I'll finish cooking my apple cake. And with any luck, it should be ready for break time. Oh, what's going on here? Zoo's going to be a teacher. Can you help me find the blackboard, Grandpa? <laughs> Only if you let me join the class. I haven't been at school for years. Now, class, settle down. Please, sir. Uh, what are we going to learn? Um, I haven't thought of that yet. What can I teach you? Ballet! How to fly! I can't teach you that. Oh. oh. But we can do some sums. I love big sums. We're going to do some sums with big numbers. Big numbers? Oh. Oh, it's been a long time since I've tackled big sums. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> are we all ready? So that makes 13 plus 24. Does that make sense? Uh. No, it's far too difficult. My teacher uses fruit. You add bananas. One banana plus one banana. Hey, I'm the teacher. Can I have my chalk back, please? <gasps> oh, I think I can smell something. Oh, something's burning. Oh, no. My cake. <clears throat> oh, yes. Uh, please, may I leave the class? Uh, I need to go to the kitchen. Very well, Grandma. Off you go. You have a good sense of smell, Zoo. Sense of smell? What's that? Uh, is it when you know something's pongy? <laughs> no, it just means you can smell things well. There are five senses. There's smell and... <gasps> hey! What if I teach you what the five senses are? Oh, yes! Brilliant! Good! Now get ready to learn. Class, 
Get ready for Super Zoo. The zebra with five ultra keen senses. I can sniff a smelly sock miles away. <laughs> I can hear a mouse snoring. Oh, can I be a superhero with ultra keen senses too? Not yet. Sit down, please, Zack. I haven't finished. <sighs> All right. I've got super sight. I can see through walls. Ha ha! Nana's eating chocolates in her room. Oh, <laughs> my chocolates! <sighs> oh, Zinnia, it's not very polite to yawn in class. Sorry, Zoo. I can't help it. I'm bored. Oh, just like me in the new teacher's class. And I thought I could be better at teaching than him. But I don't think I am. I am Super Zack. I can see through walls. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry, Super Zack. I'm here. <laughs> hey, it's not break time yet. <laughs> Class, settle down. Class. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> Zillia. <laughs> hmm. Try to catch me, Super Zack. <laughs> I... Oh, yeah. oh, that tickles. <laughs> oh, Claus, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is school finished for the day? Oh, you're right, Grandma. Oh, being a teacher isn't easy. <laughs> well. Let's see if we can sort this out. What is it that you like so much about your usual teacher? I don't know. She's funny and she listens to us and she doesn't do all the talking. She asks us questions and she listens. Why don't you try that on your class? Yes, but how? Hey, I know. Grandma, can I have your burnt cake for my class? And... I'll need a cardboard box, too, with holes in. I should be able to find you one of those. <laughs> Pay attention, class! <laughs> Instead of trying to find each other, why don't you try and find out what's in this box? Oh, how are we going to know what it is if we can't see it? That's just it. You're going to have to use your senses. You can't use your sense of sight to see what's in the box, but you can use your other senses. First, the sense of smell. Sniff the box and see if you can guess what's inside. <laughs> Uh, it smells like cardboard. Anything else? Uh, I think I can smell um, apple. That's a good guess. Now, the sense of hearing. Try and work out what it is by the way it sounds. It doesn't make much noise. No, it's not made of wood or metal, that's for sure. Is it uh, an apple? No. Now, use your sense of touch. Put your hands through these holes and guess what's inside by feeling it. It's all crackly and dry. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but if you press it harder, it's sort of spongy. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not telling. Now, take a bit out of the box and eat it. Don't look. Use your sense of taste to tell me what it tastes of. <laughs> no cheating. It tastes 
But... And it tastes of apples, too. Uh, I know, I know. It's your grandma's burnt cake. Well done, Zach. Top marks. Now I know what the five senses are. Seeing, hearing, smell, taste and touch. And now we also know that you shouldn't cook a cake for too long. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Zoo. We learnt a lot and we had fun too. You're a very good teacher. Can you teach us sums again, like in a fun way with the box? I'll try, but school's hungry work, isn't it? Let's help Grandma bake another cake. And tomorrow I can take some to the new teacher to say sorry. Good idea, Sue. Yes, because now I know being a teacher isn't a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo's special surprise. Six. Come on, horsey. Forward six spaces. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. My turn. Hmm. Hold on, cowboy. I just need to answer this. And no cheating, eh? <laughs> Hello? Yes? A business trip? When? Today? All right, then. Goodbye. Was first. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip. I'm Zoo, the champion cowboy. And my horse is the fastest horse in the world. <laughs> I bet you I'm faster than he is. Climb on. <laughs> clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Ha <laughs> 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 Giddy up, Dad. Giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, champion cowboy. The race is over for today. I need to pack my suitcase. I have to go away for two days on a business trip. Two whole days? It's so long. You'll forget me while you're away. No, I won't. You'll see. Two days will fly by. Right. I better hurry or I'll miss my train. Oh, hello, Sue. Why the long face? Dad's going on a trip, and I'm worried that he'll forget me while he's away. Oh, forget his little zebra? I don't think so. No. Oh. Well, if you're that worried, why don't you give him something that belongs to you? Then every time he sees it, he'll think of you. Oh, great idea, Grandpa. I'll go see what I can find in my room. Don't tell him. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, I... hello, Zoo. Where are you rushing off to? Oh, I... nowhere. Just off to play in my room. Bye. <laughs> hmm. What can I give Dad to remind him of me when he's away? <gasps> the castle we built together. Oh, it's a bit too big. My zebra! Dad will definitely think of me when he sees zebra, won't he, Pock? But two whole days without you, zebra, I'll miss you too much. <gasps> That's a brilliant idea, Pock. A drawing. Zoo, the brave knight with Sir Dad. Thanks, Pock. Dad can keep it in his pocket all the time. But if it's in his pocket, he won't see it, so he won't think of me. 
We've got to think of something else. And fast, before Dad leaves. You're right, Pock. Grandpa will know what to do. But we've got to be careful not to let Dad know what we're up to. <gasps> OK, Pock, the coast is clear. No Dad around. So, have you found anything that'll help Dad remember you during his trip? Not really. Maybe I could hide in this suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be a surprise. <laughs> yes, <laughs> especially when he hears me shouting from inside. He'll hear my voice and... <gasps> my voice! That's it! I'll record a message on Dad's tape recorder. And when he listens back to it, it'll be like I'm there. We can all leave a message for him. So he'll remember all of us. Oh, it would. Now that's a good idea, Zoo. Oh, but the tape recorder's in Mum and Dad's bedroom and he's packing his case in there. Oh, no. <gasps> I've got an idea. Ah, great timing. You can help me choose. Which tie? Oh, turn towards the light so I can have a proper look. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, um, ooh, I, uh, I, I don't know. This one's, ooh, this one's very smart, but, uh, but, but this one, um... I've got more. Uh, no, no, uh, <coughs> no need. Uh, that one. Uh, are you sure? Oh, yes, that's the one. I'm Zoo, the champion cowboy. <laughs> I'm Zoo, the champion cowboy. <laughs> <gasps> You're right, Pog. We've got to be quick. Let's record my message for Dad. Hmm. Dear Dad, this message is for you, so you don't forget me on your business trip. And, uh... Could you bring me back a little present, please? Thanks, Dad. Everything all right, Sue? Have you recorded your message? Yep, your turn now. Uh, hello, son. Uh, this is me, Grandpa. Um, I hope you have a good trip. And could you bring me a hat back from your trip? One of those ones I like with the broad brim. Oh, oh, and um, <laughs> have a good trip, son. Grandma's turn now. Grandma, can you record a message for Dad to help him think about us while he's away? Oh, but I wouldn't know what to say. Come on, Grandma, it's easy. And if you happen to be passing a kitchen shop, I could do with some new wooden spoons. <laughs> All right, dear. Have a good trip now. <laughs> That's great. And now Nana's turn. Ooh. Oh, my. You are in a rush today. Uh, yes. Things to do. Bye. Huh? Come in. Nana. Could you say something to Dad to help him think of us when he's away? Oh, of course I could. <laughs> Am I on? Now, dear, have a good trip. And if you have the time, could you please bring back a nice warm scarf and some honey sweets, too? <laughs> oh, and... Uh, I haven't finished. Sorry, Nana, but Dad's leaving soon and I haven't recorded Mum yet. Oh, well, in that case, off you pop. Quick sticks. <laughs> and you know that perfume I like? If you see some, could you... <laughs> Hugs and kisses. <laughs> What's so funny, Bizu? <laughs> we all asked Dad for a present. Really? Hey, everyone. Time to say goodbye. Phew, we've finished just in time. <laughs> Dad, this is so you won't forget about us during your trip. For me? 
Ah, I understand now why the champion cowboy was galloping about today. You were making something for me. Don't play it now. You have to listen to it when you're gone. Oh. Who could that be? Hello? Yes? Ah, I see. Thanks for letting me know. Yes. Bye. That was my boss. It seems my business trip's been cancelled. Oh. Oh. Uh, I thought you'd be glad. Yes, Dad. But... Listen to the recording, dear. You'll understand. Dear Dad, this message is for you, so you don't forget me on your business trip. And you know that perfume I like? If you see some, could you... <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Well, I wouldn't have forgotten about all you lot, what with all those presents I was going to have to bring back. And there was I thinking you were going to miss me. Of course we were going to miss you. <laughs> Especially for great horse riding. <laughs> I see. Well, saddle up, champion cowboy. <laughs> clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. <laughs> clip clop. <laughs> <laughs>